Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to do another uh, products I've hit pan on video. The last time I did was in November and back then I think I had about like four or five products to show you guys, not a whole lot. But this year I started doing Panda's eyeshadows and um, yeah, that really has changed the amount of products I have pan on. There are some non eyeshadow products in here as well though, but yeah, I've really got a good bit of stuff to show you guys so i thought it would be fun to just go through all of that and see what i've already accomplished like pan wise since november of last year so let's take a quick look okay let's i've got so much stuff here i don't even know where to start let's start with like some of the eyeshadow palettes that i've hit pan in so first i've got the nyx palette in strike a pose and I have hit pan in two eyeshadows in here. Don't know how well you guys will be able to see from there. I'll show you guys a close up as well. I've hit pan on the brown shade right here, which has been, I believe, in my pandas eyeshadows as well. Um, and I've also hit pan on the white shade in here. Um, these are fairly powdery shades, so they're going pretty quickly. I don't know whether that is because these palettes are a bit older already or they've always kind of been like that. The white has a bit of hard pan, so it doesn't go as quickly, but the brown was really powdery when I started using it um, to hit pan on it. And I hit pan on that one fairly quickly, but uh, yeah, nice palette with some nice colors in it. So I did not mind. And then another NYX palette, this is the Secret World one, which has a lot of like green and a little bit of like browny shades in here. And as you can see, I've hit pan in this green right here, and I've also hit pan right here in the shade right beneath that one um some of these shades i am not the biggest fan on it's especially it's this row right here there are some kind of chunky glitters in there which is not great it's kind of like that children's makeup type glitter that seems to be in there and all of them seem to have like the exact same glitter um so basically it's like a matte ish shade with those weird glitters in it but like the shades itself are nice shades, it's just that chunky glitters are not really my thing, but also fairly powdery, so these were also fairly easy to actually hit pan on. Then I've got two sleek palettes with pan as well. This one is the Oh So Special, and this I hit pan on in my uh, Roulette Pan collab, one of the most recent updates, and I've still been using it since then, so I'm still expanding the pan and... Uh, I really like this as a brow bone highlight, just a, like a really simple matte brow bone shade to make it easy to blend stuff out, but not have like too much shimmer going on because a lot of the shadows that I'm using already are fairly shimmery at the moment. Um, then the other sleek palette I recently hit pan in, I think in my panda's eyeshadows as well. A lot of these would be. Um, I hit pan right here in the bronzy shade this one is like old enough to not have any names like nowadays when you buy a sleek palette there is this little plastic uh, film on top of it that tells you which shade is which like has which name but this one did not have that yet okay my naked palette um i think i I must have been really close or just have hit pan on this one the last time I show you guys. Um, I already had hit pan on Virgin, but I've also now hit pan on Naked. I'm using this as like kind of my brow shade and I'm mixing it in with the shade right here, Buck, which is also getting a little bit of a dip at this point. So yeah, this pan slowly but surely keeps expanding. I'm only using it in my brows, so it's not really moving very quickly, but uh, yeah, still really liking this palette not using it a whole lot. Um, I haven't actually rolled any of these shades into my Pendo's eyeshadows or anything yet, but uh, looking forward to the moment that this will roll in and I'm gonna be able to use some shades out of that again. Another lovely eyeshadow palette is the Vice palette that I got from my sister because she decided she is not really using makeup so she doesn't actually need this. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, I got this from her and um, I've, I've been loving it. I haven't really had a chance to use it too much yet because I've got way too many eyeshadows in all my projects at the moment, but this was in my Panda's eyeshadows and as you can see I have hit pan on it, so it's nice to, because it was a brand new palette to me actually get a chance to work on one of the shades quite extensively. 
um, and this was called Pandemonium. So yeah, I did hit pan on that one. It was a nice um, purple shade, like nothing too um, different or anything, but yeah, it was really nice to be able to play around with that palette a little bit. Then let's see, oh, I got so many uh, palettes here. This one is the Amuse palette, which I don't even know what type of brand this is. I bought this online at some point just because it had some nice colors in it. And, like it has a lot of different colors. Uh, and I hit pan in two shades in here. I like in this pinky shade right here and then in the yellow gold up here as well. Um, it looks like it's made for kids just the way that like the palette looks with the like fake little beads on it and just the, the way it's set up it looks very much like play makeup but actually like the pigment in these is pretty good so i'm uh, i'm happy that i've been able to actually use this one a little bit more and actually it pan on two shades in here as well then i very recently hit pan in this catrice shade this is the catrice palette in the seasons must have a quattro from catrice and i've been using this one on my brow bone a little bit and i also hit pan on that one um yeah catrice shades are just like nice eyeshadows there's like nothing too extraordinary about like any of these shades but they're they're nice to use and a shade like this is always very easy to incorporate in anything so I uh, liked throwing that in like one of my projects so I could actually incorporate that with everything that I was doing so yeah that's always good and then uh, I did recently film my panda palette so I don't think there's anything too surprising that I'm showing you guys in here I've got my panda palette palettes because I'm working on three as you guys know um, I've got some nice pan in here of course I've got some finished off shades but I've got pan in pretty much every shade except for the silver one right here um, so that's always exciting to see slowly but surely this one is uh, starting to move out um, one that is definitely very close to moving out is my Enchanted Glamourland palette I, I hold it I will hold it the right side up just in case anybody doesn't like me holding it upside down I've only got a little bit of shadow left in the black right here but there is a lot of pan all over this one and i'm very excited about that one the silver shades in here actually are also from this palette so i'm not completely done yet once i finish off the black but yes i love looking at this um there was already pan on this one when i filmed this in november um and there was a good bit of pan back then but it's a matte black so i'm so close to having it done now so i'm really really excited uh, about that one then we have the LA Colors palette right here as well, also part of my Panda palette and I've got three pans in here already at this point. One shade is almost done, there's still a little sliver of um, shadow right at the corner right here and then I've got the two pans right here. This one is very powdery as well so like it's very easy to incorporate with everything because they are neutral colors and they're like they're moving quite quickly because they're fairly powdery. Um, it's not a bad or a good thing. It's not like they're causing a lot of fallout. Um, it's it's just the way these little LA Colors palettes are, I guess. Okay, those were all the eyeshadows. Um, now I still have a few other products. One of them you have seen in my previous one. This is the uh, Revlon Pinking of You blush. This is from the Floral Affair. I must have been a limited edition or something and I hit pen right here. This one is on my list of products I wanna like work on this year, preferably use up, but I uh, did roll some other like blushes in <laughs> as well. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to work on actually expanding that pen, but we're gonna at least make sure I will use it a little bit this year. Then also some big pan on this Bourjois Healthy Mix powder in vanilla. I'm getting really close on finishing this one up. Like I've only got that product around the rim and that is getting pretty flat already. So yeah, some really exciting pan on that one. I've already finished up, I think, two or three of these before. So I really, really like this powder. It's, it's mattifying, but not too mattifying. I still keep a little bit of that glow, but at the same time... Um, 
it helps with like keeping everything on, blending everything out, mattifying the parts that I really need some mattifying on, so that is great. And then lastly, the NARS Albatross highlighter. I had pan in this one very recently as well in the Roulette Pan collab. As you can see there, the pan is. I'm really excited about hitting pan on this one because I've had this for quite a while and I really, really love this highlighter wearing it right now as well. Um, it's been taking me way too long to actually hit pan on this one because I should have been enjoying this one way more than I have so far. The, like by now, this is the only highlighter that I have in my collection. So, yep, I can spend pretty much all my time on this one right now, which is very nice. Yep, really loving using this one and excited to see that I've now used it so much that I actually hit pan on it as well. And that was it. As you can see, quite a bit of pan to show you guys and I think it's very likely that this amount of stuff that I'm showing you will only be growing because I'm focusing a lot on hitting pan in things this year. Um, still focusing on using some stuff up but definitely focusing a lot on hitting pan so yeah it's exciting to see like all these products that look loved and used and yeah just makes me happy to see all that pan. Hope it was uh, nice and happy making for you guys as well. Take care for now and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!